Hello everyone, Bill here again. I'm starting a new series now today about job hunting tips. Without getting into a very long story, several years ago I lost my job and I had to find a new one. Without having to look for a job for quite a number of years, I was really like a fish out of water. So what I've done is, is I've made quite a number of mistakes. So what I'm going to do in this new series here of job hunting tips, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share some of the mistakes I made and therefore pass on the solution so that you don't make the same mistakes as I did. One of the things which is the first thing which is extremely obvious for most people is you have to have a resume. In fact, I recently found out that you basically have to have a resume for just for virtually every job that's out there. Even if you were to get a job at a fast food restaurant, they want to look at a resume, even if it has virtually nothing on it. And you really do need to have one. Now, um, with resumes, you can either create one of your own, or there are several websites out there right now that you can actually go to and actually have a resume. Um, you can create your own resume right there, and then it would be on your computer. Now, um, I'll put some of the names of uh, the names of those resume sites uh, up here on the screen so that you can take a look at those. Now, for myself, again, one of the many mistakes is I had one resume and I just kept handing it out over and over again. Well, that was a mistake because what you really need to do is you need to have a minimum of three different types of resumes with three different levels of skill set so that you can really open up your uh, open up your range of looking for a new job. And I really do mean that. You need to have at least three different types of resumes um, with different skill sets, different levels and stuff. Have your educational information pretty much the same with all of them, but depending on what kind of job you're looking for, you really want to try to hone in on your resume on that particular job that you're trying to apply for. Now, like I said, I um, made uh, my own resume on my own computer. But I actually had one definite plus that most people don't have. I have Microsoft Word document program on my computer. That allows me to do a lot uh, of doing that with headers, footings, uh, different um, type settings, and it's quite wide and quite open. Well, the thing is, is that if you have an operating system above Windows 7, Okay, what a lot of what would surprise a lot of people is, is that there's actually two different types of writing uh, programs on a standard Windows operating program. You can have Notepad, which that is not what I'm speaking of. Do not use Notepad to make a resume. That's kind of obvious. But then there's also WordPad. Now that is a very simple basic program, but I don't recommend it simply because it is a very simple program and you can't convert your document into a PDF. And I'll explain that in a minute, and I will also explain that in another, uh, in another video. So you really need to have Microsoft Word. Now, what you can do, the way Microsoft has set it up now is that you can rent it for like a year or a month or however long you need it, and then it either shuts off or something like that. Now, if you have an older computer and you actually do have a Word document or MSN, MS Word, you can use that and then just move forward for that. Now, several of my friends, they don't have Microsoft Word. They actually came to my house and we, I helped them build their resume on my computer. And then what it is is that what they did was they just simply saved it to a CD-ROM disk or you can save, save it to a thumbnail. Okay, and the thing is, is that what you can do with that is once you have it saved, what you can do is that you could take it to a Kinko's, you could take it to an Office Depot, an Office Max, and what you could do is, you could, again, you could take the CD-ROM or the thumbnail, and what you could do is you could just simply um, tell them, hey, look, I have a Word document on here, please print up. 100 copies. Now, I strongly recommend that you do get 100 copies because you're going to send out a lot of these. Every time you go to a job interview, um, if you go to different places, if you go to temp agencies, they'll want to see the paper version of your resume immediately. So you really will be handing out a lot of these. Okay. Now, what I did was I found this out again. One of the many mistakes that I made in job hunting is, is that if I applied for a job online over and over again, of course, I wanted to send my resume. I kept sending it as a Word document. I didn't find out until a full year after the fact 
that no place can open up a standard Word document due to a security thing, but they can open it up in a PDF. So if you send out a resume digitally at a website or something like that, you have to send your resume into a PDF. And this is where, like I said, Microsoft Word, you have that feature to save your resume into a PDF file form, okay? Whereas I wasn't doing that at first. I was just simply sending my Word document and there it was. But they can't open it on the other side. You have to send your resume, no matter how you send it, on any website, it has to be in a PDF form. I didn't know that before. I will bring this bullet point up before, or I will bring this. Uh, uh, I will bring this bullet point up again later on in another video. So once again, it's my first um, job hunting tip. You have to have a solid, good resume. Please check out those websites I recommended, and then you can go from there. And again, if you want to have, if you can't print up so many, take it to a place, a printing shop, Kinko's, Office Depot, Office Max, and they will very, they can very easily print you up as many copies as you want. So thank you all, and please check out the rest of my videos here on my channel, and see you all next time.